was almost number eight. Yeah. Nothing here. No, we're still afraid by fair because I can just hide in the bush and just kill them all. Sure, if you're up close, you can put one in their head. They just fall down straight away. Say like some horrible shot. There's a big red laser on the thing. It takes me time to like, you know, line it up. So I never played a sniper. Coming down. You just get in position and take him down. Yeah. No, no, don't shoot yet. Ah. Sounds are supposed to be in that drinking room. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe. I don't think it's gonna matter. In the room and hide. Box. Box. Okay. Box. Take this. What? Oh, you're screwed. <laughs> Take this. Shoot him. No, kill him. Kill him. Snake feels safe in the bats. So close to number eight. <laughs> they got a little grenade at me. Forgot about that damn freaking security camera. Is there somebody there? Oh, fuck. Enemy is over the side. Why did you come back? Oh. 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 Oh.
locker. <laughs> Why would they come back in the room? Clear. Move. Clear. Clear. I guess this at least the lockers help things in this version of the game. Clear the fuck out. Clear. Clear. You just hope they don't check that locker. Move. See, they got flawed when they made man sized lockers. Coming in here. You get no privacy. There's one thing I think the viewers would have learned from your playthrough so far. Why? Never ever fucking send you on an espionage mission. <laughs> <laughs> uh, true be told, I like stealth games. It's just like, you need to be the guy sitting at the computer, you're not the guy to go on the mission. No, oh, no, I'll be hell. <laughs> Wait, look, you guys look forward to my Metal Gear Marathon sometime? Mm. <laughs> what? I think you need to play those games on a di different difficulty. What do you mean? Well. No chance. Okay, what's thing I like about this version is uh take chaff grenade. You don't want to get caught out again. Oh I, I plan. There's a dude coming, there's a dude coming, there's a dude coming. Yep. I was trying okay. to play something out on the computer, but fuck the computer. But uh, you if get you caught look there's the menu screen to eternal darkness. Oh, he's going. He's not coming in here. Yeah, how do I get past the guy on the railing and the cameras? Alright, chaff grenade and just put him down with a trank. Okay. Yeah, they only have like two chaff grenades and hold up to solve four. Hmm. You don't really need them. It would help if I get the guy right there. That's it, just put him down. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Oh, and after that way I can like, run with the chap grenade. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Uh, I don't know. Because if, if there's anyone underneath, then they will hear you. Uh, yeah, He's underneath you now. Yeah, I know. Just walk. You'll be fine if you walk. You can probably take him out now, look. Go to sleep. Now you can just drop down and fall down. Oh, yeah. I guess another benefit of this game. Uh? That's a, at least that's one benefit of this game. Yeah. I'll say they had the stamina uh, trick. They did Metal Gear Solid 2 where you can like, do pull ups and increase your mm. stamina. No, there's a dude in there. Yeah. You don't need to go in there. What about for the case of silence might be in there? No, fuck the silence. I'd like to put him down, but... Uh. We're, we're solid snake, we don't need it. Okay, now since I'm gonna fuck it up, uh, laser hallway, let's go ahead and... <laughs> what can I do for you, snake? <laughs> Insurance, that's what you do for me. Jeez. 
Jeez, I, I, I keep thinking back to Metal Gear Solid 3 where How's it's it saving things forever. Have you gotten used to the radar yet? Yeah, it's oh, yeah, great saving system. is horrible. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. <laughs> Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Mm, being monitored 24 hours a day. That'd be like hell. Don't I've think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. <laughs> Shall I just keep it? No pet? quote. What? Damn. What? No quote. Oh, I. You know that would suck if like uh, you didn't have like the the case to build gear and you didn't have the internet at your disposal. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> I, I wonder who else did that or like did that with me? Like looking at like a CD case. I was like looking at like the optical disc in my inventory and shit. Like there's nothing on there. <laughs> Oh, but look literally on the GameCube case, they kept that. Otherwise, I do that like try like every fucking codec. I say that's what I had to do one time. I tried every fucking codec. I didn't have the case of the game. I didn't have no fucking internet, so I, uh, I tried every fucking channel. And finally got her. I had to go to tune mode. Okay. Let's see here. One four zero fifteen. I like Metal Gear Solid 3, you can find some really crazy ass channels. Yeah. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm hungry. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? <laughs> Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name is not important. Hello, not important. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. Right. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect Don't. from the legendary Solid Snake. You're trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader? Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. Well. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. <laughs> but first, I want some information. You were involved. Where this in game was? This came up before the emo what word exactly wasn't happened here. I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Hell yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, Is that how Jill Valentine holds Baker, more huh? items than Chris? You know he has more pockets. He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. 